that as well. Do you have a watch? Yes, I do. Very good. Yes, I do. And do you have a watch? You don't have one. How about you? I know I don't have one or a watch. So you can say I don't or I but when you say have you have to say watch or one or whatever it is. So no I don't or no I don't have a watch. No I don't have a watch. Okay. How about you? Do you have a watch? No I don't. Very good. No I don't. You don't need to say how about you? No I don't. No I don't. So that's all you need to say. Good. Okay, what about so Remember this, if you say, when you say, you can say, when you use a do word, you can say, no, I don't, or yes, I do. This is into the question, do you have a watch or whatever it is. Remember, when you have do you have a watch, you can say, no I don't, yes I do, or you can say, no I don't have, so have, and then you have to say what you have, a watch. So it's kind of longer. Or yes, I have. But then you have to say what you have. A watch. So when it's do you have something, you can say no I don't, yes I do. But if you use the word have, you have to say what it is. So do you have a dog? Yes I do or yes, I have a dog, right? So that's, so that's when, you have, when you have a do you have question. Do you have, do you have glasses? Yes, yes I do. Yes. yes, I have glasses. So you can say either one. Do you have a, do you have a necklace? Oh. Yes, I do. Or yes, I have a necklace. Okay. So, 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 in English, you can just end it with don't or do. But if you have the word have, you can use that too. Both are, both are good. You've gotta say what? Yes, I have a necklace. That's when you when in response to do. Do you can just say no, I don't. Yes, I do. Or I don't have. Both are okay. Alrighty? So number 10. Does Joe have a silver coin? Number 10. Does Joe have a silver coin? Remember, go back to number 8. Yes, Joe does. Or yes, Joe has a silver coin. So number 10 is a little tricky because it requires number eight. So number 10, does Joe have a silver coin? Good, or you could say, yes, he does. Oh, number eight, number eight, Joe does. So you could say, yes, Joe has a silver coin, or yes, he does. Two ways of saying it. Does Joe have a silver coin? Back to number eight. Where's Joe? Joe has a silver coin. Does Joe have a silver coin? So you can say yes, he, Joe, he does. He does, or yes, he has a silver coin. Two ways of saying it. Does Joe have a silver coin? Yes, does, he has. Uh, yes, he does. Yes, he does. What's another way to say it? 
Yes, he has a silver coin. Very good. Does Joe have a silver coin? Yes, he does. Good. What's another way to say it? Yes, he has a silver coin. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. Perfect. How about you? Does Joe have a silver coin? Yes, he does. Does Joe have a silver coin? Yes. Yes, he has a he has a silver coin. Very good. Yes, he has a silver coin. Or, yes, he does. Does Joe have a silver coin? Yes. Yes, he has a silver coin. Good. And another way to say it? Two ways to say it. Yes, he has a silver coin. Or, yes, he does. Good. Does Joe have a silver coin? Yes, he does. And another way to say it? Yes, he has a silver coin. Very good. Does Joe have a silver coin? Yes, he has a silver coin. Good. And another way to say it? Yes, he does. Very good. Um, number 11. Does Rat have a key? Go back to number 6. Yes, she has. Now, if you use has, you need to tell me what she has. She has a key. Yes, she has a key. Another way to say it is? Uh, uh, yes. Yes, she does. Yes, she does. Does Rat have a key? Yes, she has. Does Rat have a key? Yes, she has a key. Very good. And another way to say it? Yes, she does. Very good. Okay, how about you, sir? Does Rat have a key? Uh, no, she doesn't. No, she doesn't. Yes, she does. <laughs> no, she doesn't. You can say no, she doesn't as well. What about number 12? What do you have for lunch? I have a You have a what? What? Jello? Uh, ah, you have noodles for lunch. Okay, for those of you, I have a question. What do you have for lunch? What do you have for lunch? So everybody just write down that question. Look, I mean, you already wrote down. What? Do you have for lunch? So this question, notice it's in the present. So the question when someone says to me, Camille, what do you have for lunch? This tells me what do I generally have or usually have. Okay, so I could ask what did, I could ask what did you have for lunch yesterday? Okay, what did you have for lunch yesterday? Or I can also ask, what are you going to have for lunch? Okay, these are three different, and I'm going to explain to you, there are three different meanings. What are you going to have for lunch means, oh, after class, I'm going to eat lunch. I'm going to have a, some noodles. Going to have some noodles. Okay? That means right today, I'm going to have noodles. What do you have for lunch means, hmm, every day I have a sandwich for lunch. So that means most of the time I have a sandwich for lunch. So there's two different, but today I'm going to have noodles.
but most days I have a sandwich. That's what, what do you have for lunch means. Most days I eat a sandwich for lunch. So two different meanings. But what did you have for lunch means in the past. Oh, yesterday I had chicken for lunch, chicken and rice, courtesy of her. So yesterday I had chicken and rice. So what did you have for lunch is in the past. What do you have for lunch is generally. Now in, I don't, generally I have noodles for lunch. That's yesterday, tomorrow, next week. I always have noodles for lunch. That's what it means. What do you have for lunch? Okay? But what are you going to have for lunch means right when lunchtime comes. What am I going to have? All right? So I'm going to ask you these questions. Two different questions. So, sir, what do you have for lunch? I have rice every day. I have rice every day. What are you going to have for lunch today? I'm going to have pizza. I'm going to have a pizza for lunch. So, I usually have rice every day. Today, I'm going to have a pizza. Good. What about you, ma'am? What do you have for 